G'day folks, my name's Nick Ryan. I'm a newspaper columnist, a wine writer, and a man who finds himself very comfortable in pubs. So let's talk about how important the South Australian hotel industry is. It's too good to ignore and too valuable to lose. So let's start at the beginning. Hotels are amongst South Australia's most historic businesses. From when those first Europeans arrived in 1836 on big boats in Holdfast Bay, one of the first things they did was build a pub. By 1871, pubs were plentiful and the AHASA was created to support the needs of these publicans facing challenging laws, regulations and offering support to their businesses. Nothing has changed. It's still hard at work in 2017 and beyond. There was a recent study done by the University of South Australia to gauge just where hotels sit in the big picture for South Australia. There are 620 hotel licences in South Australia, from small, modest country pubs to the big end of town, and the AHASA represents 80% of them as its members. So let's get to the numbers. The hotel sector generates over 26,000 direct jobs in South Australia. That's 15 times more people than Holden, eight times more people than RM in Wyala, both of which are recognised as significant South Australian employers. The total economic impact of the hotel sector on the state's economy is estimated at over $4 billion in GDP and over 33,000 full-time equivalent jobs. Each hotel in South Australia employs on average 41.6 people, people like Tom. And that's a payroll of close to a billion dollars a year. That's right, a billion dollars. And what about what these venues buy? Each year they spend $1.2 billion on other products, mostly from local suppliers. So that's more than a billion dollars going back into wages, supporting other businesses and growing the South Australian economy. I mean, hell, where would South Australia's winemakers be without the South Australian hotel industry? So that's some pretty impressive numbers and some really good news for South Australia. And how about just under 700 million spent in capital expenditure in the last five years? Think about how this has flowed through the local building industry, products, labour, business and the like. That's a lot of happy tradies. As well as providing much needed ongoing jobs, South Australian hotels play a key part in the state's tourism and food strategy. And what about those hotels with accommodation? Research tells us there's 12,000 one to five star hotel rooms in South Australia, and there's more in the pipeline. That's for the leisure traveller, the business and tourist visitor, most of which come from beyond our state. But this whole wonderful industry, 87% of them are still just small, medium enterprises, good people doing good work in their communities. They have more than $700 million in overheads and pay more than $445 million in taxes, levies and rates. The live music scene in South Australia is healthier than ever and with 82% of all live music performed in this state performed in hotels. What about that? SA Hotels and the great people that work within them must be this state's most undervalued asset. So let's celebrate this wonderful industry. I reckon it's a bloody ripper and vital to the success of South Australia. So cheers.